Welcome back to my channel. This is part one in a three-part series about editing features of the Helix. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about some basic assignment features of the buttons. So here we are starting with a blank preset. Let's just throw an amp in there to make this a little bit more like doing some real stuff. And let's just grab the Fullerton Jump, one of the new amps in 2.80. One thing I always like to do is have a volume pedal. I always like to set the curve to logarithmic, gives me a little bit smoother taper. This is what is often known in volume pedals as an audio taper as opposed to a linear taper. So next thing I'm going to show you now is how to be able to have a wah pedal and switch between them using the built-in expression pedal. First thing you're going to notice is that when I am on the volume pedal, when I move the Helix's pedal, you could see that the volume position is automating and going up and down. That's automatic. I didn't have to assign anything. Just adding a volume block to the patch will do that. Next thing I'm gonna do is go into here and add a wah pedal. And let's grab the Weeper, which is the Crybaby. Now you can see down here the position is at zero. Moving the pedal doesn't do anything. The wah is off, the volume is on. This built-in volume pedal of the Helix has a switch under the toe, just like a real wah pedal. So if we push down on that, go back to the display, you'll now see that the wah is on and the volume off. And now, as I move the pedal, you can see the position automating up and down. Again, I didn't have to assign anything special to do that. Just adding a wah pedal and a volume pedal will automatically assign it to work that way. So again, if you watch the screen as I hit the toe switch, you see the wah pedal turns off, volume pedal turns on. I hit the toe switch again, wah pedal turns on, volume pedal turns off. So you don't really have to do anything other than that. Just adding a wah block and a volume block will automatically get you the correct assignments for your built-in volume pedal. So let's say I want to get a little boost pedal in front of here. I'll use the kinky boost. And of course, you probably know if you press the bypass button right here, Every time I press it, that pedal will turn on and off, but I wanna be able to do it with my foot because I'm a guitar player. But we look here at the mode switch, I'm gonna press that, and you see everything goes away. That's because I'm in stomp mode. So to assign my distortion pedal, my boost pedal, to be able to turn on and off, I'm just gonna lightly rest my finger on the switch until I see this on the screen, and I'm gonna press OK. And now I have my boost pedal assigned, pressing it, you see, we'll turn the boost on and off. Let's say anytime I have my boost on, I also want a little bit of a compression on there. So let's go down into dynamics. Let's grab the Kinky Comp. That's the exotic uh, SP compressor. When I turn the distortion, the boost pedal on and off, the Kinky Comp just stays on the whole time. I want them both to come on and off at the same time. So I'll use my joystick to select the SP comp, lightly rest my finger on that switch, press OK on the screen, and now when I turn this on and off, I can see that both of them turn it on and off at the same time. The next thing is, you notice when I assigned it to the dirt pedal, the switch was orange. When I assigned it added the compressor pedal, the switch turned yellow to match the color of the compressor pedal. I generally like my switches to match the color of their primary function. In this case, the distortion is going to be a more important function than the compressor. So how do we get the switch to change colors? Very lightly touch the switch. You see it'll switch the selection to the distortion pedal, and the switch will now be orange instead of yellow. So now when I switch it on and off, it stays orange. Both of them are still turning on and off at the same time. For my next trick, Let's say when I have my distortion off, let's say that's my clean sound, I want that to be able to have a chorus on. Let's say I always want a chorus on my clean tone. It's turned on, the distortion and the compressor are off, so I can lightly rest my finger on the switch again till this menu comes up, I press OK. Now you see this change multiple three, and when I press it, Chorus turns off, distortion and boost turn on. So I can toggle between those three. Now, of course, I want this to show like it's a drive switch, so I still want it to be orange. So I lightly tap the switch, 
it switches back to the distortion, it'll now be orange. If I lightly brush it again, it'll switch over to the compressor and be yellow. Lightly brush, cycles back to blue with the chorus. Lightly touch it again, goes back to orange for that. So now everything is set up to work the way that I want it. However, it has kind of a boring name, right? It just says multiple three. So we want that to be able to say something like dirt. I'm gonna lightly rest my finger on it till this screen comes up. I'm gonna press the customize switch. That brings me into a naming menu. So it's pretty easy here. I can name things. Now, something you may not realize you could do when you're on the screen is if you push straight down, that is straight toward the helix with this button, it'll change what you're on. So I'm on capital letters. I push it, I go to lowercase letters. Push it, go to lowercase letters. On this one, I, I'll just leave it on T because I wanted to say dirt, but I'll show you if you're on uppercase, you push it, you go to lowercase, you push it again, you go to numbers, push it again, you go back to the beginning of the capital letters. Next thing is when you're on this screen, you could just press the delete button here and it'll just erase things and bring them over. So I'm gonna hit save. And now if we look down here, it says dirt, it's assigned to the color I like, and we're good to go. Now that I have this preset relatively good to go, let's talk about how to save it. Now, of course, I could just press save, and it gives me a chance to name it. So let's just call it the Q preset, and I can hit save. And now I'm at 30D with my Q preset. Now, what if I make some changes to this, and I decide I like a version of it with the Fullerton Bright amp model? and I wanna save that, but I don't wanna overwrite the Coup preset. I wanna save it as something like Coup preset two. So I can press save, I can go to the end. Remember, I just press straight in on my joystick to switch over to the numbers, and I'll add a two, Coup preset two. Now, to save it to somewhere else, I look down here. It shows me I'm in set list four. Destination is 30D. I'm just gonna turn that to 31A and save it, and now I have Coup Preset 2 on 31A, and I roll down and I have Cool Preset, and if I wanna rename that to one, so I have one and two, just go to the end, press straight in on my joystick till I get back to the numbers, cause I missed it, and now we have Coup Preset 1. So here I have Cool Preset 1 and Cool Preset 2.